This is a bit of a last minute game. I completely forgot about it for about seven seconds. So you have to give me some moment to get these overlays together, but we are seeing today a V respawn versus Nova Luna. No, sorry. Plus Ultra. My bad. Uh, they are on blue side. And there we go. And we'll tell both teams Defense to ready. Oh, squad they're ready. already readying up, which is good. So we're going to see the Great Flamingo race. Uh, with uh, any plus, or <laughs> plus ultra defending. Uh, v respawn has been pretty good. We screamed them actually like 30 minutes ago. I impulsed it. And, like, Cruising is a new member, so positions. we will see how they're uh, integrating him into their team. He's been doing really well, though, in scrims and in other gameplay. And it looks like McKenzie's in the lead, but all of a sudden, Bisk is going to win! Yeah! And she's very hyped about that. She's very happy. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I need to make sure the names are changed on the stream as well. If not, I will have to have someone do that, because I don't think I can do it. Match starting in. Ten. No. Nine. Not eight. Seven. This is a highly six, unfortunate set of Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stop the payload. Uh. Payload mobilized. Okay, so we're gonna see the initial attack here by V Respawn playing really aggressive. Uh, plus Ultra here, kind of split up. And Brain Jack is going to go down first, but Kaz will accidentally detonate her himself instead, leaving a three-on-three -three situation. Vex is going to go straight in. Bisk is going to try and float away, but she's barely getting away from Vex's relentless advance, but eventually he's going to back off on the night. And he's going to get him instead. All this time, though, the payload is moving up. Cruising is like, on critical health, but his auto heal will finally come in. Delivery Kaz is back now, so he's moving up slowly. Mackenzie will go down to Vex. Delivery accelerated. And Kaz is going to push uh, Bisk over here, who's just running away. Not able to contest the payload, and she's gonna go down to Vex. Delivery Actually, taking a third. Delivery accelerated. Check Four minutes and twelve seconds left. We just want a ton of time to push this second point. And we can already see them going into this uh, this back room here, getting ready to jump on them. And they're gonna go forward on this stack. They're gonna get two or one kill. Mackenzie will get refragged out on Creason though. Vex will get a uh, knight. Payload And mobilized. they'll actually they'll trade out for each other with Pulsar. So Kaz by himself over here, just corner peeking away at uh, defending team plus Ultra here. Trying to get some initial damage there. We see Mackenzie over there is in the half health. Just being whittled down. Popping a heal now. Bisk is going to go in, but uh, Cruz is just going to jump on top of her from behind. And she's going to be able to peel away, but not quite enough. And Vidman will finish her up with the comet from behind. Knight will go down to Vex too. And we're just going to see uh, some 2 on 4 action here by Plus Ultra. They are going to get one. Brain will get Vex. But he's super low and floating, and maybe they'll, they're not really contesting the payload yet. Plus Ultra has yet to really contest this payload at all. Peter's wants to be moving it up the whole time. So we're going to see Plus Ultra here defend on hill now. Kaz getting some uh, just some da initial damage in from up there on... Trying to get some uh, poke damage. And he's going to get a little bit in on Bisque, but not a whole lot. Oh, Delivery and there. Now she's at half, so she's got to pop a heal now. Draw some ordinance, or draw some attack mods out. And we're just going to see three members of V respawn just moving this payload forward. Bis uh, <laughs> Plus Ultra is going to go in, but Kaz will finish her off. Knight's going to trade with Vex a second time. Mackenzie's going to push straight in, trying to get a Able kill. Vin will steal out, out, though, but eventually he, she's going to go down to Cruisin'. And Cruisin' will take a second on Brain Jack. Payload mobilized. The lonely Arc Mine just sitting out here in Nexus. Delivery and there accelerated. It goes. Just passing five minutes and Crescent the Hill. Vivi spawned a ton of Delivery time to run in this Puzzle just to like really actually start contesting this payload. That was the first time they tried to contest the payload and they got crushed for it. Vex is going to take a two. Bisk and Knight 360. Cruisin' will finish off Mackenzie leaving just a Brain Jack's here all by himself. And he's going to go down with Vex taking a third. And with four and a half minutes left, it looks like V-Respawn is going to finish this payload. Yep, exactly four minutes and 30 seconds round to go. Complete. And they have plenty of time to push it to round three if uh, Plus Ultra is able to uh, complete the map. Pulling up the stats here, we uh, poor Bisk only having one elimination. We're going to follow Cruz in here for the Great Flamingo race. Uh, plus Ultra definitely on the short end of the stick when it comes to eliminations, unfortunately. They just kind of got uh, steamrolled by V Respawn's relentless advance. Cruz is first out, and he's, he's going, he's first out the two! 
Looks like he may be in the lead here. Not not gun boosting. Oh, now he's going to gun boost. Kazda's trailing behind, but it looks like uh, Cruising just got the jump on the rest of his team, and he's going to win the Great Flamingo race for his team. Number one with Kaz taking up the second. But everyone knows if you're just second, that's just the first loser. Sorry, Kaz. <laughs> Let me make sure that everyone can hear me. I do believe. Match starting in. Can. 10. Test. 9. Yep. 8. <laughs> 7. 6. 5. Frantic. I have to four, switch the overlays. 3. 2. I almost one. forgot. Stop the payload. So, Cruz in here defending with Vex, just sitting in this tiny little corner there. And they're going to jump out from this corner back here. And they're going to just jump on Knight and get him down. Though, uh, Plus Soldier will get the pick they need on Cruz in. Mackenzie will trade out for him. But a very spawn is still slowly. This fight is really long. And the argument is just kind of a long slog here. Vidman will just finally come back in and Vex will take Vex down. Mobilized. So three on four. Well, three on two now. Pulse Ultra really isn't taking advantage of this Delivery man advantage they have. And finally, their remaining member will Delivery come back and accelerated. Cruising. Cruising will finally respawn. Stuck with Vex again. Just sitting back here in rubble. This is kind of, that's not my personal call for it. Get ready to jump on the uh, pillow. Accelerated. Well, uh, roof up there, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, Vesca is really low, and she's going to go down to Kaz's Meteor. And the other two, the Nova Snake, is just going to jump on Knight on Payload and get a kill. But Kenji's going to go down here instead now as well. To Cruz and taking a second. And Payload Vex will returning. finish up Brain Jax. Just crossing the two-minute mark, and they barely they haven't even gotten the first checkpoint here. Pulse Ultra is kind of struggling to get a really cohesive tag together. They, they did get the picks they needed originally, but they aren't really making them count yet by playing aggressive enough to Payload mobilized. Them. Three members of the respawn now, just moving in, and they're just gonna absolutely crush Plus Ultra here on point, taking two down. Mackenzie Knight and Vidman will pick off Bisk in the back. Payload returning. Brainjack's on his own now, trying to float in and get a kill, but he's just gonna get finished up by Cruz, and he's, he's gonna take his second kill for that push. Three members of Plus Ultra stacking up, uh, crossing the minute and a half mark. They're running out of time here. A poke damage throw is gonna hit Mackenzie down for half. Payload Bisk is gonna have a half too, but a heal's gonna slowly whittle back up to hit full. Two members of Plus Ultra slowly crabbing up, and the other two members of V Respawn just got dunk on Payload. And now they're just gonna finish off Brain Jacks here by himself. He's not gonna be able to. Oh! I didn't see I was gonna Payload not returning. quite make it in time. Vex will get two, Vidman will finish off Bisque, but, but unfortunately Bisk will get Vex before that. So again, Plus Ultra does have the man advantage here. They could play a 3v4 fight, get one more person, then try and get just uh, steamrolled that 3v4 fight, but they're not playing aggressive enough to really do it. We're gonna see a three man boost come out here. Again, one person whittled down to half. Not really any mobilized. boosting, and again, we're just seeing some split up play for Plus Ultra, and the Nova Sec is just going to come in. A detonator from Bisk is going to miss any damage out, Brain Jack is going to go on time, it's just going to go wide. Vid will finish I, off Knight on Knight. Payload. And he does get a stun off, but it's not going to be enough. McKenzie will go down, Cruising taking two, returning. and Kaz will finish off Bisk. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds, 30 seconds now, and Plus Ultra is uh, running out of time here. They haven't really been having any cohesive attack, just kind of splitting up and going for separate people. Vex goes low, he just goes straight in, gets a kill anyway. Brain Jack's on phase, perhaps trying to get another C9 like he did on Bobix. And it's not gonna matter, Vex is just gonna fall him back Ten, and murder him. Nine, Pulse Ultra's forced to get on Payload right now, but every time they touch Payload before, it's gonna go early for them. This four, is exactly what Viri Squad wants. Vex is gonna take a third on Bisk. He may be able to get McKenzie as well, and it's, there's not enough time for him to get, uh, get the complete. kill. Mackenzie accidentally Defense crabbing off and C9ing victory. himself. Pulling up the stats here, V Respawn is just a dominant performance. <laughs> just kind of just, Jeez. honestly, just steamrolling all of Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra never really got past the, f the halfway mark on the first checkpoint, and V Respawn finished with uh, over four, with like exactly four and a half minutes remaining. So that was a really good uh, match on their side. V Respawn really didn't pull any punches. So in the meantime, we will throw it back to our sponsors, who I have to legally disclaim. We are their Twitch does not sponsor us. Things like that. Okay, back to the sponsors we go.
This is Pitt and he takes creating lenses pretty seriously. That's no surprise because he has been creating innovative lenses and coatings for the German market since 10 years in his laboratory he started back in 2004. We're back, and it looks like both teams are not ready yet. So let me. F we're pl back for combustion. Actually, give me a moment to uh, fix these teams. Plus ultras on blue, and V respawn is on orange. And I have to turn on. There we go. Okay, so I will let both teams know they're ready. Right now it is 1-0 in favor of V respawn, and as we say that, cruising now drops with the crash. But if he has compass installed, the app made by Jonas have has been helping out a lot with it. He'll be back within just a few seconds. I will mention two teams uh, to go when ready. Okay, so uh, last time we saw a dominant performance by V Respawn, just kind of steamrolling through uh, the attack and defense against Plus Ultra. He's unable to cope with the momentum and strategies of VB's spawn. We'll see if they're able to pull something out here on uh, Combustion, which is V Respawn's favorite map. It's interesting to see them to start playing that now, because again, it was rumored to be the Crash map. Well, that's entirely untrue, because I just played Orange a three round scrim against them. Ready. Actually, I think, I think we played a three round scrim against them, and I don't think we had any crashes. Blue like, Squad, played, ready. Yeah, I don't think we had any crashes. Maybe we had one, maybe? I don't quite remember. In any case, both teams are now readying up, and we'll see them get ready to play. We're seeing a double phase load out here come out from Plus Ultra, which is interesting. You usually only ever see one phase at most, just because of how it's used. And usually a threat scan in between. We're not seeing uh, a phase on the respawn side. Prepare to capture the point. So we will see. Oh, and a bad boost from V respawn. Oh, only three members of V respawn are coming out. It looks like they're going to get to the point way before. Uh, plus Ultra even hits the hill. A <laughs> bad boost out by them. And Vex is just going to come straight from behind, throwing a debt. And he's just going to get on Knight, and Knight's going to go down. Cruiser will grab Bisque. And then he's going to come out from Mackenzie, but she's not going to be able to do anything. And Kaz playing Nova is going to drop her as well. Kaz will take a second on Brain now. And the Arc Mine will get one, will get two. Dang it. Oh, only two. They try to get themselves stunned because it was a joke, and it Point wouldn't have helped either in. way. For plus Ultra. Four, three, two, so one. So Plus Ultra again stacking up capture here. The point. Boosting out pretty fast. Going up the hill. Trying to get this double stack from V respawns let's go. Just jump straight on Knight. He just, stack, he just uh, stun himself and stun the enemy, but he's not going to be able to get anything done. Mm -hmm. Vex, we'll go down to Mackenzie's Pulsar, uh, which is surprising. She played Nova point last round. But again, they're trying some uh, Oh, two phases. Here. All right. Mackenzie's also going to face. Just crab her on point. Perhaps just try and drag them under the arc mine, and it's not going to go anywhere, and she's just going to stagger herself point here on point. Contested. And she's logging all over the place, and finally she's going to go down, spending attack mine to stagger herself, not the greatest of plays. She should have used the phase and gone away if using it at all there. Uh, v respawn almost having everything. They have all their ordinances back in one heal, whereas Plus Ultra is just going to... They're going to get everything back too as well, actually. They don't... Actually going to be up on number of equipment that they have. Oh, and another crash on Cruisin. Uh, there's a 3v4 here for V respawn on point. The Arc Mine goes out, but it's gonna get destroyed anyway. Kaz is gonna drop uh, Mackenzie though. Vex will grab Brain as well. 
So two on, uh, well, three on two. Kurt's oh, gonna grab Fisk, and Fuck's gonna get a second on Knight. And that's gonna be the attack. So 75% now. That's uh, quite unclear if uh, Plus Ultra will be, be able to get back in time. If they do, this will be their last push. We actually see Vex going forward, trying to go break a chain if they do boost. Finally, Cruising is back. And it looks like V Respawn will actually be able to win this 3v4. I'm sorry. And Vex is, feels bad for murdering them, but the 0 to 100 comes out and Vex will take two, just jumping Round on the boosting complete. stack for Plus Ultra. And Orange Squad victory. And we're going to see a crash on Plus Ultra's side. So, again, everyone's crashing out. Uh, we had, like, no crashes, so... Well, like I said, if they have compass installed, it won't be that big of an issue. It's great. it will be back in, like, 10 or 15 seconds at most. So, I know I've installed it. Unfortunately, it has some uh, interesting things part of it. Like, uh, it comes up as a virus if you try and run it. So that was interesting. And they're back. Prepare to capture the point. And again, we're going to see the uh, round two start opening. Right now, Plus Ultra has to win this round if they want to try and keep going. It's not looking so hot for them. They've been kind of just been steamrolled by V-Respawn so far. Uh, V-Respawn playing it slow now in here, Case going up the hill. Plus Ultra hasn't even really gone anywhere at all. Just sitting in this war room, actually. It's unclear what they're doing. Perhaps they're waiting, trying to get a strategy together, see what they want to do. Well, V-Respawn's already taken um, prime conditions, or well, prime positions here. They may be waiting to actually jump out when the payload, or when the, sorry, when the, uh, Points actually opening to make sure they only fight one fight that matters Point instead of a couple that don't. It'd be an interesting Five, idea, but we're going to see four, if we're able to uh, three, make use of this strategy. Two, Perhaps we're going to try one, and a phase comes out, two phases comes out early, four phases come out early. Quad phase, interesting. Uh, interesting meme. And they're all going to go, they're all going to unphase, and Cal's going to execute Knight. And Brain's gonna go down to Vid, Vid man. Cruisin's gonna drop Bisk. Point contested. And Mackenzie's just gonna go down as well. I respect it, I respect it. They respect the play, but unfortunately, uh, they did not show any mercy. We respawn as many things, but Merciful is not one of them. Alright, so we're gonna see Plus Ultra get group up for their next attack. Actually, one of them, Bisk switching off to Shield, and they're still gonna try their triple phase play out. They may have uh, given up the ghost here, which is unfortunate, but we'll see. It sounds like they're having fun anyway. <laughs> V-Respawn investing a couple of de a detonator into that fight, not getting any value off of it because of all the phases. Bisk, <laughs> uh, uh, very scared for her life, and she's going to go down to a Vex, relentlessly hunting her. The fight point breaks it here on point, and Knight's going to go down to Kaz. Mackenzie's just crabbing around on point, and Kaz is going to take her down as well. So it's, uh, unfortunately, Plus Ultra only has three eliminations between all of them, but that could just be one kill and three of them helping out on it. Because okay. of how eliminations work in this game. No. Uh, Vex will kill himself by accident, and Vex will go down to cruises. <laughs> Sounds like they're having a good time, but don't really expect to win here. 88% 80, now. Plus Ultra has to contest, so they want to round this go the round allow this round to continue. Point and he's going to contest for all of two seconds before being executed by Kaznas. Well, that was a quick game Round by complete. V Respawn versus Plus Ultra. Orange squad has um, won the match. So that's just how it you goes sometimes, it. okay? They, uh, Plus Ultra tried valiantly, but GG's unfortunately they are a, a very, they are a new team to the competitive scene. Well, they've been around since stage one on ECFL. V Respawn's been around since GG. the very beginning of this game. Good game, guys. Competitive. <laughs> he is a new member of them, but again, Abyss had no eliminations, but well, that's the game. I will see you guys all uh, another time. We're more games over the coming week. Well, see ya.